On the 10th of May 2002, a routine train journey from London King's Cross to King's Lynn ended in tragedy at Potter's Bar Station in Hertfordshire. At approximately 12.56pm, a four-carriage class 365 electric multiple unit, numbered 365526, was travelling at nearly 100 miles per hour when disaster struck. As the train passed over a set of points, specifically 2182A, the trailing carriages suddenly derailed. The fourth carriage veered off the tracks entirely, crashing into the station canopy before coming to a halt across a nearby platform. The violent derailment claimed the lives of seven people and injured 76 others. One of those killed was a pedestrian struck by falling debris from a bridge, showing just how far-reaching the consequences of this crash were. What made this tragedy especially shocking was the cause, poor maintenance of the track infrastructure. The facing points had been inadequately maintained by the private contractor Jarvis PLC, which was responsible for track upkeep under a contract with Network Rail. Investigators found that bolts had become loose, leading the points to shift while the train was passing over them. This catastrophic mechanical failure caused the derailment. The crash prompted a sweeping investigation led by the Health and Safety Executive and the British Transport Police. Sabotage was initially considered but quickly ruled out. The final verdict was damning. Basic safety protocols had not been followed. In 2011, Network Rail was fined £3 million for failing to ensure proper inspection and maintenance of the points. Jarvis, by that time in administration, was never prosecuted. One of the few positive outcomes of the crash was the decision to bring all track maintenance work back in-house under Network Rail. It marked a turning point in British railway safety and ended the practice of outsourcing critical infrastructure work to private contractors. The train involved was part of the Class 365 Networker fleet, introduced in the mid-1990s. Known for their distinctive, smiling front end, these electric multiple units served routes out of London until their retirement in 2021. Unit 3, 65526, was written off due to damage sustained in the crash, with parts either scrapped or reused for emergency services training. The Potter's Bar crash left a deep scar on the UK rail industry and those personally affected by the tragedy but it also brought about lasting reforms that have made today's railway network considerably safer. If you found this video informative, please give it a like, share it with others who are interested in railway history and safety, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments if there are any other incidents or topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.